Good morning everybody, my name is Osa. We are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Glen Leathen. And uh, it's raining. It's September, it's September 2, it's raining. So when we last left off, we had built the farm, we got ourselves a tractor and we'd filled up that silage bunker with grass, compacted it and we're now fermenting grass silage and we have another spare bunker sitting there which we should probably make use of shortly anyway in the meantime what else have we been up to things are working that's good um, so we played for about three hours last week I've added about ten hours and done five um, hay missions and I discovered something rather handy about hay missions. I don't need a baler. They're baling missions, but I don't need a baler to do them. Um, okay, we are not doing anything while it rains. I'm going to click up time to times three. I'm going to see how times three working works. Okay, so I do have added a, um, a tether to our supply of equipment. We have the mower, we have the windrow. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that, but it'll do for now. We've got the railroad wheels to compact the silage bunker, and the silage bunker is currently up to 84%, so later on this morning that'll be ready. Um, that one's empty. So we need two. Um, the idea is, is that one's brewing. I can fill this one up with stuff until, uh, yeah. So in theory, when we get cows, we have maize, we can have a bunker of maize silage, a bunker of grass silage, and a TMR mixer to uh, create food for the cows. <laughs> I might need a third bunker at some point. Right now, not so much. And well, I don't know which side to put it. I did look at the silage bunker pack and the ones with the open end are this size. So we're gonna have to make do with it. Okay, what else has been happening? In here, we should have the Valtra. Indeed we do. Um, we have our loading wagon. We have purchased an M6141, so it's 140 horsepower. Uh, I should have gone for the M7, I think. We bought that from you, and we have that used uh, hay truck. Right now, as I said, not planning on anything while it's raining. We are also using, um, oh, what is it, um, rain pain. So if we run across this grass field, which won't tell us anything, and jump over the hedge, oh, for some reason the internet's unstable. This is not telling me that the ground... Oh, it's moderately raining. So there you go. Um, so on the field info, owned by field size land area and rain. It's moderately raining, so this is classed as a wet crop. It has bad nitrogen, it has bad pH, and... Oh, hello, hedge. I um, guess I'll jump over the hedge. And the same would be true of the grass field. It should say it's moderately raining. So once the rain stops, um, that message should change to something like the ground's wet and um, we're going to suffer wet penalties until it dries out. Now, I do have this patch of grass here and the patch of grass over there. I both are candidates for having a cow shed put on them. 
but at this time I don't know which one I want to do and I don't want to turn them into fields i.e. plough them and all the rest of the stuff um, until I know which one I'm going to use so no plans for those fields keep raining, come on um, we have a gas tank I think I put some gas in or diesel in it yep because the, uh, the Valtra got very low on diesel, so that needed to be filled up. Um, we have repaired the Valtra once, and it's getting on for 10 hours on the clock. Um, we did put a front loader arm on it so that we could use the bucket, so we could shovel that stuff up. But since the uh, the little orange tractor also has a loader arms. We can use that as a bucket thing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's have a look at the store. I have modified the parameters on this. So equipment should start dropping off sometime soon and start getting replaced by newer bits of equipment. But at the moment, that is the same as it was last week. I guess I need to hit um, a tick over the hour. So at 8 o'clock, that might all change. Um, for contracts, we have a lot of bailing contracts. But I think they're pretty much all silage, which is going to mean we need to wrap whatever we make. Good grief. This is all silage. Ted it. That one's not. 92. 92. Let's grab that one now. We then have cultivating contracts. Don't have a cultivator. Fertilizing contract. Don't have a sprayer or a spreader. Harvesting contracts don't have a harvester. Liming contracts don't have a spreader. Don't have a plow. So, um, yeah, one contract I can do when it stops raining. But I think we're fine with that. We don't have animals. Um, oh, money. Where's money? Bank. I've paid off the $25,000 pound loan. Um, that we did from contracts. We still have the 100,000 we used to buy our starting equipment, the 80,000 I added to buy the tether and the, um, the little orange tractor, the, the, the Kubota. Um, environmental score is currently 69. We have done soil sampling on all of our fields. So I don't know why that's not maximum. Uh, tillage, nothing doing. Uh, weed control, nothing doing. Um, pH and nitrogen was boosted because we mowed that field and it wasn't too bad off. It is getting worse. This field I definitely need to fertilize. So we might need to look into a fertilizer sprayer or spreader. I'm kind of mixed on that at the moment now because I am going to be avoiding herbicide if at all possible. Now, there's that one at 52. That's 24 and 28 meter arms, 3360. That one is 4,600 for a standard size, 1,500 for unrealistic. That goes 18 to 40. So that small arms are bigger than this one. That's lighter. They both go at the same speed, so it doesn't really matter. I haven't used the John Deere one yet. That one is way more expensive, 4,300. 33 meters. I don't think it comes with the spot and spray though. Not that I'm planning to add that either because I'm not planning um, stuff. 
This one has spot spray cable, weed spot spraying. And this one has the John Deere C and spray, but they do cost 39,000, which is way expensive, almost the price of the spreader. Could bump that up to 28. It's only 5,000 more, but yeah. It's 52 base, or we look at this sort of thing, 18 meters. Uh, standard capacity is only 1800 and my little tractor does not have a front linkage so I can't mount one of those on the front. I would put the uh, the crop sense, I, although I've said, okay, I've said in the past that we would probably go with one of those on the front to do crop spraying. I may just say, uh, to heck with it, let's just do Grain can be grinded and corn can be milled. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Not worried about it for right now. But yeah, we. Um, I want a sprayer. We should probably use tractor mounted crop sensors to, uh, to apply fertilizer. Because it's, it, you know, there, there's no difference or there's no downside to using it except it costs a lot to add it to a tractor. But once it's on the tractor, you can use that tractor for spraying all the fields and getting the bonus. And I'm all into the bonus because I think we've probably only got about two, maybe five percent. Um, environmental score bonus at the moment. But anyway, it's 7.43. I believe when I checked, when I skipped over to today, weather, it's going to rain till about 8 o'clock. And then it's going to stop raining. And of course the silage is going to be fermented today. I am not sure. I'm thinking I might get that. Uh, maybe. Doesn't look like it works on silage. Those don't have anything listed. Uh. Oh, that's something it's used to fill up your silos. That's long. But it doesn't have a limit on what you can run through it. These ones are more designed to have a truck tip into that and unload. This takes stuff off the ground. Or to have a, a silo empty out from the side into the, the base and push it up. So. Um, that might be an option. That's 18,500. That's 6,000. That's cheaper, but as I said, I don't know that uh, it works with silage. Let's have a look at grass silage, maize silage. That's, it says silage on it. Unfortunately, my eyeballs are going back. Grass silage is just looks like a crown. But there's nothing that looks like grass here. So 
I'm going to say it is unlikely that that works with silage. The other one might. Might lease it this time out, then take it back. And then if it does work, we'll look into buying one. That should be um, getting on for... Uh, Grass silage, 260 times 400,000 is about 100,000. So we probably got about 100,000 pounds in this silage bunker, which is going to let us buy some stuff. Doesn't tell me because it's still fermenting. Since it's still fermenting, oh, this is such a, such a decision. Do I do I try and mow those two fields with the Valtra? I don't think grass suffers from uh, wetness. See Tom Pepperton this week trying to uh, mow some fields that were completely <laughs> waterlogged. So I might just go out and mow that pasture, mow that pasture. We'll get them rowed up and we'll load the second bunker and get it fermenting. Uh, after that, we can start unloading that, which I think does mean going down to the store and getting us a, a thing. <laughs> because this bucket, I probably about... 200,000 litres. Uh, just shy of 2,500 litres. And so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to take it out about eight buckets to fill that up. And then it's going to take um, just too many. It's easier to just drive the tractor in and then scoop it up as a matter of interest. Uh, fresh maize. TMR. Whole crop silage. I am not seeing, that's just whole crop silage. It's not accepting maize silage or um, the other stuff, grass silage, just whole crop. That's kind of weird, but okay, I'll live with that. It hasn't ticked over yet. It is eight o'clock, okay. not seeing anything of that's changed yet this is this has a bucket on the bottom so technically difficult to get it scooping silage off the ground still raining I'm thinking this will die out shortly stopped raining. Okay, I'm going to jump in this. I'm 
going to drive out to the hay field, uh, the, the corn field, just to see what the, the weather says is going on there. And that still says it's gently raining. I don't see it raining, but okay. Now there was a patch to the rain pain mod this week. There was also a patch to dynamic field pricing, which I haven't added it back into this game's save. Dynamic field prices did not work with this map. It did not work with, um, I'm informed, uh, Court Farm. And basically, if you pulled up the store, it would just have a couple of boxes along the bottom and no equipment. And when you pressed escape, the first screen it takes you to is this one. And it's blank. There's, there's nothing appears so uh, I'm hoping the new version of it works with this map um, it does say that he's made it compatible with better contracts which is nice um, and the reason I say that is um, part of his deal is the better contracts are um, become multiplicative with um, dynamic field prices. So if you've got a field that's worth base 100,000 and dynamic field prices says it's a 10% discount and you've worked a 10% discount with the farmer who owns the field, then um, you will get the field at 81%, which is basically 10% off 100,000 for the dynamic field price, bringing it down, down to 90, and then 10% off the um, ten percent off the 90,000 to make 81,000. Okay, I need to turn the thing around. Quick, stop turning. There we go. Man's in the seat. We will lower that. Hello, we will turn that on. We will drive backwards and put the conditioner on. Fortunately for me, I am continuously forgetting to turn the conditioner on when I run the mower. I could fix that now that I've got the uh, the thing that does the thing. Um, oh, what do I have? Um, the tether. No, yes, the tether. I can use the tether to turn wet grass into conditioned grass. Now, the good news is, is I'm not getting a message that says, oh, your grass is awfully wet. So, that's a good thing. Let's do this and this and I'm thinking we're going at 90. All right, we're set up. Let's get these fields mode. Oh, missed a bit. Never mind. So yeah, gonna be a while for us to build up equipment. Now, fortunately, doing um, silage is going to make things happen a 
a little bit quicker than it would otherwise. You know, okay, we need to get a harvester to cut the maize, we harvest the maize, we wait until June, and it's one crop. Um, doing this does mean that we're going to have income for most of the winter, or you know, at least every other month for the next few months. I don't think we're going to get very much grass off these two fields, but it's still better than nothing. And we'll get a hundred thousand off the big field, and whatever it is we get off these two small ones. Maybe a hundred thousand if we're lucky. That field is nicely the width of this mower. Which is good. Unfortunately, I didn't get it lined up at the bottom, so we missed a bit. But as I said, I don't think this counts as a field, it's a pasture. So I'm going to... I think as per usual we'll run two headlands and that'll give me enough room to turn around. Better than nothing. Oops. Okay, I will line up on this row because we might not. So last, what's it? Last Saturday, I think it was. I burnt all of the uh, chopped up um, tree limbs that I cut out last summer. Took them a while to dry out. We don't have the most uh, favorous, favorable weather. Oh, come on. I want to go forwards. When it comes, yeah, when it comes to uh, drying wood, it's not really um, the greatest weather here. But the wood is now, in essence, very dry and brittle. So you can break it down into uh, bite-sized chunks that will fit the fire. 